Even though your last husband tried to drown you in his insecurities and greed and underwater bury you, don't worry, New Orleans. To us, you are still beautiful. Without the Mardi Gras beads, without the Taurus, without the shine, and I'll still marry you. See, America was supposed to be a husband to New Orleans until God intervened and sent Katrina. Then instead of him being there for his wife, he just turned his back like, time to go to war and fled to Iraq where he could be a better man. Because we all know it's foolish to take care of home when your mistress needs you in Afghanistan. Good plan to pretend like your relationship was getting heavy, putting more strain on your marriage, then breaking the levees to watch your people drown. I hope your pupils drown in the blood of your broken vows. Tell me, can you hear the sounds of your kids crying? Are your wife trying to call out for help? Even FEMA stuck up the middle finger and said, do it yourself. And that was supposed to be your best man. You know the one we all invest in, the one with the best plan. But he just came by, said hi, and left money on the nightstand as if shit would suddenly be all right. Even packed his bags, took a flight and was in desert by night. I bet you spent your honeymoon thinking of ways that you can creep like knocking down the twin towers, pretending you're not a coward so you can openly cheat with a woman who has no self-control but oils you down daily. You define a soul of gold with a heart like a tin man. When you shake your head, I'm sure it sounds like a tin can. You don't care about peace and your wife seen no justice. Can somebody please find the Republican preacher party that blessed this so we can put him on display? Ask questions like, why is it cool for your kids? to lose their lives for this country but not be gay and why did your man think it was okay to move out of town while his wife lays face down to drown in his mistakes i talked to god last night and he assured me that heaven will padlock the gates to make sure you never have a chance i'm sure your inaugural dance i mean the dance at your reception was full of deception you are a misconception you lead with misdirections you bleed erections of your cocky white house reflection and i can still see the reflections of all the gowns that drowned in your fake war on terrorism high gas prices, recession, broken levees, New Orleans orgy. You are the Millennium Georgie Porgy. Could you kiss the girls and you make them cry? You start the wars and you watch them die. I hope hell open the door so we can watch you fry. When your wife was standing on top of that water, I'm sure you were anticipating her jump. That was really clever of you to get a prenup. America was supposed to be a husband to New Orleans and to God intervened and sent Katrina. Him and his man's FEMA moved to Iraq, cried her a river, and just turned their backs. Woo! <laughs>